of the team building that you guys are working on today. Quest is a classroom subscription that uses gaming concepts familiar to students while also encouraging problem solving and critical thinking skills with them in order to prepare them for the workforce that they're going into. Every year we launch a new season of Quest to immerse students in a world. In season one, students wake up in a post-apocalyptic world where all the adults have mysteriously vanished, leaving a world of chaos and a world that needs students to rise up and become problem solvers. Their mission is to unlock the mystery of what has happened to the adults while trying to survive as tribes in this new simulated world that we've created for them. They're going to have to make tough moral and ethical decisions as a team and above all else kind of put together different puzzles and clues to figure out what's going on in this world. Us kids have to like survive on food and parts, but the, there's this robot that helped us called Sam, but she was keeping secrets and she turned like evil sometimes. So we've, right now what we're doing is we found this blueprint that she didn't want us to get in. So it was the vault, so she didn't want us to get in. So we're trying to figure out the code to get into the vault. Right off the bat, they start forming tribes in the classroom. And as a tribe, they must decide what kind of government that they're going to uh, run with in this experience. Some of these kids couldn't even tell you, you know, what type of government we had. And now they're telling us not only what type of government they chose for Quest, they're telling us all the different types of governments that they could have chosen for Quest. It's allowing kids to develop confidence, to practice their collaboration, their communication, critical thinking, and creativity skills, the projects that they're doing in terms of team building challenges, but that they're having to use engineering practices and just other thinking skills have really been a great asset for them and something that I know they've really missed um, during the pandemic. We communicate in like different ways than the other people and we have different mindsets, so we put the different mindsets together and we make something that's out of the ordinary. One of the most exciting things is when a principal will tell me that a student who is a special ed student um, who normally doesn't communicate or isn't involved in playing with groups of kids in general education is now part of their tribe and is now part of their tribe on the playground and that to me is so exciting to have that inclusion. It's developing students social and emotional wellness. This is such a key aspect of their development with their young brain right now and the ability to collaborate and communicate with people, the ability to be self-aware of their strengths and their weaknesses and be able to connect with humans uh, and work efficiently with them was so critical, especially now more than ever. Like I feel like a change where I can open myself up more and won't, it won't be that the kid that doesn't even talk or like communicate. Cause like in this game, you have to like communicate a lot. Quest really filled all the holes that we even ever could have imagined because it, was, it is highly engaging. The kids want to play it constantly. As I've walked campuses and been in classrooms, every child is engaged. Yeah, I think these are future job skills. Um, they're learning how to work together, which you have to do at work and you have to agree with people even if you don't always agree, agree to disagree. We want to see students find their voice. They become a leader in whatever it is that they're trying to solve. They find out what their strengths are. They make great friendships in this experience as they bond over this post-apocalyptic environment that they work through. You know, these are the things that we hope to see uh, developed in our students as they go through Quest. <laughs>